Welcome to Hardware Asylum. We're again working on the classic case build. This happens to be an AMD 386 40MHz based on an Opti chipset. Very standard 386 design at the time. We have a socket down here which is likely a combo socket. We'll have to look into that. But first we need to check out this motherboard and look at some of the damage that I've noticed. As I noted when we tore this system apart, there was some damage on the motherboard tray that concentrated on this screw hole. This was the one screw hole that was supposed to hold a physical screw, and that was gone. Either it corroded away or it fell away, but when the battery leaked, all of the fluid went into this hole. This is where the, the damage is concentrated right here, but the top of the motherboard looks really good. It gets interesting though when we flip it over. Here we see that same screw hole and a lot of copper corrosion around this area. So what I'm going to do is put some vinegar here in hopes of getting this cleaned up and we will see if any of these traces are still intact. Do a little bit of repair if need be. And then we'll uh, wash the board, fire it up and see what we got. The battery has to come off anyway so we're going to go ahead and remove that first. These batteries are normally glued down so I just need to get some pliers and pop it off. Or use my fingers. And there we go. One bad barrel battery. Here's that glue that holds it in place. The battery removed, we can see that there is not much damage just around the post hole that held it in place. So let's get to cleaning. For this, I'm going to use a little bit of white vinegar and an old toothbrush to apply the acid to the back of the motherboard. Kind of just like that. That should neutralize the chemicals, prevent any further corrosion, and allow us to remove the salts that have been deposited and see what we have left. After about 30-35 minutes, this is what the corrosion looks like. As you can see, we have most of it gone. There's just a few spots that are left where I'm going to leave the vinegar on there and scrub it every once in a while to get that off. And then we'll just have to wash the board, pull back some of this covering, and then retin that copper just to reinforce the lines. And that should be it for the repair. You can see the spot on the PCB where the battery juice got in there and kind of separated the layer slightly. But other than that, there's no corrosion on any of those components. So we might have got lucky with this motherboard. Now that we've cleaned up all the corrosion, pulled back some solder mask, and polished up these traces, we can see that there is a lot of damage to this trace. It's still intact until it gets to about right here, where the copper is completely gone, so we'll need to bridge that gap. Everything else, I think we can just tin across, and that will get us back up and running. Also retin this ground pad right here. There was a bit of corrosion on that as well. And there is the repair. I had to install a bit of wire to connect these traces together and I tinned over the other ones that were exposed. So that should fix all of the battery damage on this particular motherboard. Next up, let's see if we can get DOS and some basic benchmarks to run. The nice thing about the baby force table that I built is that I can move these mounting posts anywhere I'd like on the board. So until I can get some epoxy onto my repair, I can avoid this location as a mounting point. So I'll put a screw at the top, one in the middle, and one down on the bottom. Success! Inside the case, there are two points where there is a bit of corrosion. The first is the primary ground position inside the case. This is right where the battery was, and the chassis was laying like this in storage. And the battery leaked down on top of this post. So as you can see, the post is very corroded. It has rusted the motherboard tray. That should be pretty easy to fix. And down in the bottom of the case, we have some 
spot corrosion as well, which I think we can get out of there if we just hit it with a little bit of elbow grease and a scouring pad. Now, of course, steel wool is code for any sort of really fine grit sandpaper. If I had steel wool, I would use it, but I'm going to use a little bit of wet and dry sandpaper. I think this is an 800 or 900 grit. And that's really all we need to do. There we go. Now since I like things to be shiny, we're going to hit the spot with a little bit of metal polish and that should get those scratches out of the coating. Now with the corrosion all cleaned up and the metal nice and shiny, all we need to do is give the rest of the chassis a bath and we are done with this part. In the next video we will take a look at doing a retro bright on the front bezel here using some gear that I put together. So if you want to see more be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.